Yellow Productions presents 10 Things to Know Before You Go to Switzerland. I'm Chris, this is my traveling panda Topher. We do travel guides that are fun, informative, and entertaining, and this video will tell you some things you'll want to know before you come to Switzerland. And we'll start with number one, which is Switzerland has four different languages. Yes, in Switzerland, they speak German, French, Italian, and Romanche. Uh, and in different parts of the country, they speak different languages. So uh, in Zurich and Lucerne, you'll find people speak German. In Geneva, they speak French. The South speaks Italian, but almost everybody speaks English too. So if you're an English speaker, chances are you'll be able to get along just fine in Switzerland. Uh, and the other thing to know about languages is there's really no need for small talk in Switzerland. In a lot of places, you have to chat up the store clerks, the waiters and waitresses. Here, they're pretty good about being efficient. They just want to finish the transaction. And uh, so you'll find you don't need to make that small talk that maybe you do uh, back home if your home is the States or places where small talk is popular. All right, thing to know number two, hours. Switzerland is an early country. Uh, cafes open early, stores close early. So when you're here, you will want to start and likely end your days early. Um, most stores open between eight and 10 in the morning and they close between six and 8 p.m. in the evening. Uh, on Saturday, most shops close around four or 5 p.m. And on Sunday, almost everything is closed. Uh, Switzerland has pretty strict laws to have a good quality of life, so things aren't too noisy or too busy, uh, but that means that when it becomes nighttime, it's not much to do. Uh, so just kind of plan your days that way. There are some cities that have a thing called evening shopping, and they'll have one day a week where the shops will be open till later. Uh, in Zurich, this happens on Thursdays, and on Thursdays, the shops are often open till 9 p.m. All right, number three, transportation. Switzerland has really good public transportation. Uh, it's pretty similar to Japan in that context. Public transportation here is always on time. If your train leaves at 12.02, by gosh, it's gonna leave at 12.02. If you see another one that's leaving at 11.58, that is a different train. Um, Something to know if you're coming to Switzerland and you'll be traveling a lot on the train, there's this thing called the Swiss Travel Pass and you can get unlimited transportation on trains, buses, trams, everything like that. And uh, so that's a pretty good deal if you're gonna be doing a lot of train travel. All right, also if you are doing a lot of train travel, make sure on your mobile device that you download the SBB app. SBB is the uh, Swiss Railways and their app tells you lots of great stuff about where you're coming, where you're going, platforms it goes on. So that's a handy thing to have with you. Uh, and also there's two main classes of train travel in Switzerland, first class and second class. Uh, the second class is actually pretty good. I think second class in, the, in Switzerland is almost as good as first class in a lot of other countries. So uh, don't feel bad if you're taking a second class train. Okay, the fourth thing to know is money. In Switzerland, they don't use the euro, and they're not part of the European Union either. Uh, they are part of the Schengen Agreement that allows um, visa-free entry, so the money they use here is the Swiss franc, abbreviated CHF. Uh, but you can exchange euros at uh, any bank, many hotels. A lot of stores will accept euro, but then you'll get change back in francs. And if you're looking for an ATM, you will see those called bancomats. Bancomats is the term. All right, thing to know, number five. Switzerland is expensive. You've heard Switzerland is expensive, and it is. Uh, pizza probably cost you about 20 Swiss francs at Vapiano's, which is a pizza chain that I like quite a bit, but that was a bit of sticker shock when it was 20 francs for a pizza. Uh, a Big Mac meal at McDonald's will cost 12 francs. Starbucks coffee, five Swiss francs. Nothing here is cheap. By the way, I don't know that if I said this of where I'm doing this, I am doing this video in Zurich right over the river. There's a river boat going underneath right now. So if you haven't checked out my Switzerland travel guide, you can find a link to that in the description below. All right, so thing to know number six, 
food. Uh, when you are in Switzerland, the things to eat are chocolate and cheese. You will find chocolate shops almost on every block in major cities in Switzerland. The cheese, there's over 400 varieties of cheese in Switzerland. <clears throat> Those are two of the things they're most famous for. They have a lot of cows, so drink the milk too. Dairy is a big thing here. Um, something else to know about food, and I just talked about things being expensive. Food is expensive. Uh, if you're trying to get some cheaper eats, go to restaurants that have lunch specials. You might find those to be about 20 francs. Go to some of the cafeteria restaurants that are in department stores. Um, or if you want the cheapest eats, check out the ethnic restaurants. Uh, kebabs uh, are always cheap. Uh, so you can find a kebab maybe for 10 francs. Last thing to know about food is if you have a reservation, don't be late. If your reservation's at 7 p.m. and you get there at 7.15, well, you might as well forget you had that reservation. Things here are much like Germany or Japan where they're very strict on time, so make sure you don't get too late and still expect them to seat you. Okay, number seven thing to know about Switzerland is it is small. Uh, Switzerland has a total population of eight million. It is one-tenth the size of the state of California, or about three times the size of Los Angeles County. Uh, but Switzerland has many mountains, which makes travel fairly slow throughout the country. Uh, but if you're driving on the freeways where it's been developed pretty good, you can go from Zurich to Geneva in three hours, and that's pretty much the length of the country. Okay, the eighth thing to know, the weather. The weather in Switzerland can be quite varied because of the Alps, the mountain range that runs through the middle of Switzerland. On the west side, it can be windy. On the south, it's significantly warmer. Uh, but the thing to know is that in the summertime, here in Zurich, it can be quite warm. When we were here, the daytime highs in Fahrenheit were about 80, 85 degrees. They can get up to 95 degrees and 35 degrees Celsius for the highs. So Switzerland can be quite warm, which is something that uh, we didn't really take into account when we came here. So make sure you bring, uh, if you're coming in the summer, definitely short sleeves and shorts. You will want it. It's also humid here because uh, there's so much water out and about and around. Um, Another thing to know, if you are going up to the mountains, the mountains are cold. Each mountain will typically have its own website, so check the weather on the mountains. Even though it's 85 Fahrenheit here, up on top of the Jungfrau, it's nearly freezing today. So, do pay attention to the weather. Uh, and when you're up on the mountains that are high elevations, make sure to wear sunscreen because the elevation is high and so the sun is stronger up there. Okay. Number nine, we're getting to the end, and uh, Topher, I need to set you down so I can do a visual aid. Uh, number nine is about water. Uh, so skip the bottled water. Bottled water is really expensive. They have a tax on these plastic bottles, which makes these plastic bottles uh, two, three francs to purchase them. Uh, pick up one or bring one with you from maybe the airport you're flying from and refill it as you get here. Switzerland cities are full of public fountains that the water is cold, delicious, uh, and uh, good for you too. Zero calories in the Marriott. It said zero calories, no sugar, no fat. Uh, so check out the water, fill it up from the tap or from those public fountains. That'll save you some money. Okay, the last thing to know in when you come to Switzerland is recycling. Uh, the Swiss are really big on recycling. So when you see trash cans in supermarkets, there will often be four or five different trash cans for plastic bottles, for metal, for glass. Uh, so make sure you're putting your trash in the right areas, otherwise you might get a nasty sneer. A few more bonus tips I wanted to add related to things to know. And this is after I just finished dinner at Zughaus Keller in Zurich. If you want to know more about what food's in there, check out my Zurich travel guide. But here's three things to know about eating at restaurants. Uh, one, if you want air conditioning, make sure they have air conditioning. This is one restaurant that doesn't, and Zurich in Switzerland can be warmer than you might expect in the summer. And eating there at eight o'clock at night, I felt like I was inside a sauna. Um, two, a lot of restaurants add a service charge. They add an 8% service charge here, so you don't need to add a tip to uh, the extra service charge. And 
Switzerland in general is probably warmer than you thought. I know that I had a section about weather and I know that I said it was warm, but in the summer, however warm you think it is, if you're in Fahrenheit, add about 10 more degrees. If you're in Celsius, add five more degrees because it can be hot and humid. Did I mention that? Like Asia is usually hot and humid, but Switzerland, you have this perspective of snow and cold. But in the summer, throw that all away. Hot and sticky. That brings us to the end of this video. And so Topher and I, we hope you enjoyed it. If you got something useful out of it, please hit the thumbs up below or maybe consider <coughs> subscribing for new videos every weekend. Or you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus, links in the description below. Or you might enjoy watching some more of our Switzerland series. Click either of these to watch, or if you haven't subscribed yet, click on this yellow ball over here to subscribe. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.